Hi artists, today we're going to learn about collage. A collage is created by putting together different forms or materials to make a complete work of art. Collage techniques have been used since the invention of paper in China around 200 BC. Let's fast forward to the 19th century. In the 1800s, Lady Mary Georgina Filmer and her friends made photo collages in England, this country here marked by the blue flag with the red cross. They painted fun backgrounds and glued cutout photographs to display their pictures in a more creative way. I like this one of the kids in an Alice in Wonderland-like garden. The use of collage in fine art began in 20th century France, here with the blue, white, and red flag. At this time, artists Georges Braque and Pablo Picasso were famous for their Cubist paintings. Cubism is when artists use geometric shapes to represent natural objects. Look at this painting by Pablo Picasso of a girl with a mandolin. A mandolin is like a small guitar. Notice how Picasso uses geometric shapes to create the girl's face and body. This is Cubism. Once they discovered collage, Braque and Picasso could add more interest and dimension to their creations by cutting out shapes from paper and other materials. Here is Brock's collage of a mandolin. I love the wallpaper background of this one by Picasso. Do you see the guitar? Hannah Hoch was another artist famous for her use of collage. She would mix and match human body parts with different objects to create fun and interesting works of art. Many artists are still using collage to create art today. This is Wangeshi Mutu. She is a famous artist from Kenya, the country here with the black, green, and red flag. I love how she uses nature in her amazing collages. We're going to use materials from nature to make our own collages. Watch part two of the lesson video to learn more. See you soon.